The situation was one where uh, somebody is going to, a coordinator is going to input data about one of their participants. So let's say lab work results, um, whatever they want. They want to put some information into their project on a certain participant. And then they want to be able to have a provider, let's say a physician, uh, be able to see that information uh, through a QR code. Um, so they uh, would either send it um, somehow with, a, you know, maybe uh, text the, um, the participant to take the QR code with them or send the QR code to the provider, one way or another. Um, but this way, um, somebody could just click on the QR code and see the lab work for this particular participant. So no one's ever asked me that before. Uh, and it's a pretty simple thing to do, so I thought I'd just run through it real quick um, so that you all could see what went into this. So I set up a little project here. And uh, let's see, I've got um, two instruments. And so the screening form here just has a first name and last name so that you can indi indicate um, what, you know, the, who, the, who the participant is. And then there's a little survey here and there's data fields. Um, and you would enter like lab work one and lab work two or whatever, you know, potassiums and sodiums, whatever. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and change this to, all right, so there we go. Oh, so uh, survey settings. So let's start with that. I mean, I didn't want um, any title, okay? I just wanted um, a header sort of survey instructions to say this data is being provided to you for this patient. And I piped in the first name and the last name, the variables, the values for those variables from the initial uh, screening form. And really, that's all that matters. Um, the other thing I needed to do, so uh, let me walk through the process here. I'm going to go to the record status dashboard, and I'll just add a new record. And we'll put in. And so. Now I've got my participant. So now it's time for me to enter some data on a uh, manual. So I'm going to, and whoops, watch what I'm doing. And just put some information in here and save and exit the form. Okay, so I did my data entry as a coordinator uh, and filled out those fields uh, for the uh, data. And now I'm going to want to be able to send that to somebody as a QR code. But I, I want a couple things out of that. I don't want that person to have to have a REDCap account because, you know, the provider isn't part of the project. So they need to be able to open the survey. Plus, they need to not be able to edit these fields. So the first thing I needed to make sure, because if they, if they do 
enter data. If, if they are able to enter data onto this form, uh, it will save the data and sort of lock the survey um, and you won't be able to send it out again. And you know, you want to be able to send this out maybe multiple times, maybe the um, participants going back for a couple visits. So in this particular case, this person, you know, wanted to just send an informational kind of instrument to the provider. So I had to add the external module, which um, we've oh, <laughs> demoed before, uh, which I didn't enable. Uh, so I'll just do that now. Maybe I di didn't do that for a reason since I knew uh, that I was going to demo this. Uh, I think it's called Survey UI Tweaks. And I'll enable this. And so uh, if you um, remember, not remember, or not seen this before, you configure this. And I'm going to go into the specific instrument and say that on this data fields um, survey, I want to uh, hide the submit button. Okay, so that will prevent anyone from entering any data into this instrument. You don't have to do read only and all that. As long as somebody can't enter the data in any way, submit the survey, there's they're no harm done. There's never going to be any problem here. So. I'll, I'll go into my uh, record status dashboard again and open up this uh, data fields for record two. And now if I do my survey options, which is going to show up since this is enabled as a survey, I'm going to go ahead and click on this and open up the survey. Or, I mean, I, in this case, I need to open up the survey access code and QR code. So here's the QR code. And what I did was use the snipping tool and copied that QR code and sent it out uh, in an email and so that it could be flashed uh, on a uh, tablet or um, anything that is, can capture a QR code. Um, and so once you have that, uh, or you can generate the short code, um, but once you have that, when somebody clicks on the QR code, they're going to see this. So this is the data for that particular person. There's no submit button, and they'd be able to see the information here now. Um, if you really wanted to do this up right, then you know you'd use the you'd go watch the video that we did um, that Manuel did on CSS injector. You could get rid of all these uh, lines across there, uh, make something that looked a, a little bit more professional. The other thing that you could do, um, another value to this is, let's say I'm going to go ahead and close this a minute. Um, if you remember, we have that external module that lets you uh, sort of, let's say you've got um, repeating instruments and or, you know, you're collecting data and you want to do uh, a, an instrument where you have a report uh, sort of built in. Um, you could set that up as a survey so that, you know, you, when you add the QR code and somebody checks on it, they'd be able to see all the results from different repeating instruments. So uh, there's a lot of different uses for something like that. Uh, I never really thought of it before, but uh, that way, by using the QR code, uh, you can just click on it and you don't have to have a um, RedCap account.